Hey twins, how's it going? It's Ashley from Serendipity Twin Flames Tarot, and this is your Twin Flame Tarot reading. Um, this is an energy update for those of you guys who are on the Twin Flame journey and you want to know what's going on behind the scenes. This is going to look at the energy between you and your person, okay? So take a resonate, leave the rest. If you want a Twin Flame Tower reading. All the information is in the description box. Take a look below. All right. So we have some Oracle cards. We have Tarot. We're going to clarify, get you as many messages as we can here. Um, I will certainly try to read out the signs as they come up when I do Tarot. But again, this is for Twin Flame. So if you know you're on a Twin Flame journey, this certainly can resonate. Okay. All right. So let's jump right in. Let's see what the energy looks like between you and your twin at this time. Clear, concise, accurate messages for the twins out there. What do you need to know? What's happening behind the scenes? Okay. Leadership. All right. So it feels like an emperor-like energy here. Okay. So this is someone who really wants to take lead, right? They want to be that bigger person. I'm seeing the energy of where your person may have not been the person to take lead in the connection in the past. They may have disappointed you or let you down. And I feel like there's a desire to like want to take back control. Okay. Want to take back control to push this forward. I feel like this is a divine masculine because this is someone that is that has that innate instinct to want to like protect and provide, right? Um, I feel like your person was misdirected. I'm seeing that they may have gotten lost, okay? I'm seeing darkness around them. And now they're looking at the stars to find their way forward, okay? To um, heal a connection. Stars is healing, being optimistic that that's possible. So it feels like right now there's a... Um, a lot of coldness in the air we have a polar bear energy so there could be like during this time of winter we go into these winter months where it's cold your first your person's feeling the um the cold energy right they're feeling detached they're feeling disconnected from you and they're missing you they're missing your comfort they're missing your love and your warmth okay um we also have release so there could be something happening in the fall months. We have changing seasons, colorful leaves. It feels like something could be happening in the months of October, November in particular, like now, <laughs> where your person is working on releasing something that is no longer of service to them, okay? So when I see this release card, this could be letting go, releasing of hurt, anger, past trauma, something from their past. I'm getting childhood upbringing, Something that is getting in the way and creating a blockage in their ability to love you, okay? So when I see release, I'm setting, I'm seeing letting go of things that just are not supposed to be um, something they're holding on to, okay? And it could be, again, creating a lot of blockages in their ability to have love and be happy and live this joyful life with you. So this is good change. I feel like this is like finally letting go of something that isn't serving them, okay? We have openness. So for some of you, your person may have been very closed-minded. I'm feeling like they were not open to letting you in. This could be a very guarded person, guarded individual. But I'm also seeing a lot of secrets, okay? We have a moon card here. So for a lot of you guys, your person was um, holding back because there was a fear, Okay, the moon talks about fear, insecurities, creating illusions, things that just weren't there. And it feels like now your person is having to deal with these fears, having to come to terms that there's something that isn't serving them, they're having to let go. This could be a fear of being vulnerable, a fear of commitment, a fear of showing love, a fear of rejection. And so there's something about being more open emotionally, more vulnerable intimate okay so there's something changing in the air where your person is now embracing these feelings okay so that they can be able to express it and be comfortable with expressing their true feelings right we have focus so i feel like now your person is like making this connection the priority okay you are their focal point and it feels to me like now that you are of their focal, focus, focal point, right? They can now do the right thing and move towards you. I feel like your person is trying to find their way through this dark place that they're in. And I'm seeing like now it's like I can put all my energy, all my effort into you. And it feels to me like, again, your person wants to do the right thing, wanting to step up, wanting to take lead. And this is going to take a lot out of them. I'm feeling it's really requiring a lot 
from them energetically to now um, do the right thing. And this is something they've been wanting to do for a really long time, but they haven't been able to. For a lot of you guys, I feel like your person was distracted. Okay, now they're able to focus. They were distracted from things that were not important to them. Okay, this could be like third parties that were distracting them, right? That took the focus off of the connection they had with you, where again, you weren't, you weren't first and foremost, right? We also have stillness. We have going forward. So I'm getting a stillness as like, um, there's something about finding peace, finding peace through this storm through the chaos okay and it feels like there could have been a lot of drama a lot of upheaval a lot of instability in their life and now this is like i want peace in my life i want things to be calm and still i i just want to be able to feel you know my emotions and embrace it and i'm also seeing the stillness could be like the hermit energy where a person is like spending a lot of time with themselves they're hermiting which is like a time of introspection deep healing contemplation coming to terms with what this connection really means and so this hour of stillness could help your person deepen the connection they have with you and allowing them to embrace it in a different way okay going forward so not only is your person wanting to take lead but they're wanting to find a way forward finding a path that they can take to come back in your life i'm seeing a breakthrough I'm seeing breaking of clouds and I'm seeing sunshine, which also talks about illumination, truth coming out, revealing, right? It feels like there's a lot of healing taking place and your person's going to now be able to move towards you, right? When something is healed, it feels like the bonds that have been broken are coming back. Anything that has been severed are now mending so that your person can find a way forward through the path, um, okay, through this broken path that may have um, been, okay, in the past, some kind of broken I'm getting like your person broke bridges with you. That could have been it too. Okay, and now they're trying to find a way forward to, to get back in your life where it's like if they come in, you know, you're not going to push them away. You'd be open and receptive to them. And that could be it too. Your person wants you to be receptive to them. All right, let's see what else we can find out. I'm going to use the barely existing Oracle deck. If you want to purchase this deck, it is available on my Etsy shop. Oops, cycle end and closure. This is interesting. So for some of you guys, there's been a long, painful cycle, right? Never ending cycle. And now Spirit is saying it's about time. It's closing. For some of you guys, this is happening around the time of the eclipse. <laughs> We're literally right in the middle of these two big major eclipses. Another one is happening on November 8th. Um, cycle ends. A cycle finally ends and it feels like it's overdue. For a lot of you guys, you've been wanting to get closure and it feels like you haven't been able to get the closure because you never knew what really happened. The moon talks about things that are hidden. You never knew what made your person do whatever they did, okay? Abandon you or literally run away from this connection or hurt you the way they did, right? Betray you. Maybe something ended, but you didn't know how it ended. And some of you guys, there's something about your person opening up and finally giving you that closure. So for some of you, there could be a decision, head of a heart. There could be a decision your person's making, and it could be finally making a decision to cut something out, releasing card, right? Release something here so they can finally come towards you. So this head of a heart is literally a two of swords energy, okay? It could be an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, where your person is at a crossroads, trying to make better decisions. And it's like, I want to move forward, but maybe I have to cut something out. Finally, for some of you guys, there's a closure or a cycle ending with regard to a karmic partner that your twin was holding on to for so long. And something is finally happening a during the time of the eclipse, and this could be happening around the winter months where your person's saying, I need to release this. I need to let this go. And that's the only way I can take lead on the connection that I really want. So now your person is focused and fixated on doing the right thing, making a head of a heart decision, letting go, parting ways with things that don't serve them, people, situations, uh, anger, whatever it is. So I like to see this. I, I feel like the cycle ending is actually the cycle that this karmic cycle that they've been in for a really long time and they're finally able to get out of it. Chaos and confusion. So it's not going to be easy. It feels like your person is working through all the uncertainty, right? The instability. Seven of Cups could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. This energy is telling me that maybe there's a lot of confusion about what they really want, 
what their feelings are. For some of you guys are confused if you still care about them, if you still have feelings for them. After all the chaos, all the drama, the tower moments they put you through, they're confused about where they stand with you. And they're trying to figure this out. They're trying to understand like, how, how do you feel about me? Do you still care about me? If I were to come in, if I were to reach out, how would you respond? How would you react? And so your person could be in great distress right now. Thinking about the what ifs, the consequences of something they've done. I feel like this hour of stillness is really trying to like connect with themselves and really trying to find a way forward, right? Getting guidance on how to come forward with you. We also have disoriented. So yeah, I feel like part of this dis disoriented energy is like mental conflict, mental turmoil, stress that they have feeling. They're going around and around in their head. And this is like paranoia, right? This is like hysteria where your person's in their head and they just don't know what to think. They just don't know what to do. They're feeling great conflict and distress about thinking of what they've done the consequences of their actions and thinking like, is it even possible for us to go forward? Is it even possible, okay, for, for me to come back in my person's life, right? We have vulnerability issues. We have communication coming through. So I feel like this is your person wanting to open up, wanting to be vulnerable, wanting to be raw, honest, and it could be a lot of truth coming out, communications here. So for some of you guys, your person wants to pick up the phone. We have a twin that wants to pick up the phone so bad and they have a lot that they wanna say and it could be very, very heartfelt. Vulnerability issues, it's like it's challenging them to be vulnerable, to express something on a deep emotional soul level and it could be very difficult, right? It's difficult, it's challenging because this person already comes with vulnerability issues. It's not easy for your person to express something that is near and dear to their hearts, right? Even if it's not very emotional, it could be just something that they feel deeply about, something personal and communication. Like It's like, I want to communicate this so bad, but I, I have this issue of being vulnerable. And so your person is learning how to work through those vulnerability issues, right? And through this connection, they're working on it. And that could be something they're doing during the stillness. During this hour of stillness, they're working on really addressing how to be more vulnerable, how to be more honest and raw and open and intimate. That is something they've never done before. And this is new territory, new unexplored territory. Empty inside. This is interesting because I feel a lot of you guys, your person, they feel void, right? There's emptiness. When, I, when you see empty, it's like, you know, you look at this person's face and it's like a blank stare. So this person's realizing that my whole life is empty. It's completely boring. It There's nothing going on in my life without my twin. So it feels like your person now is recognizing that this isn't the life they want to live, right? They want someone that they care about, right? Life is much more special and heartfelt. And it's like to have that connection with you. You know, this is a connection that maybe they never experienced before. Not, you know, they've had it before. It's like, this is what they want. This is worth holding on to. This is worth keeping. And without you, it feels like they're very feeling empty. They're feeling a the void. They're feeling lost. And so now we have the energy of finding self. For a lot of you guys, it feels like you're also finding yourself through your twin, okay? You may realize that you're finding what you're passionate about. Some of you guys, you're, you're getting in touch with your spiritual self through your person. If you hadn't gone down this uh, twin flame journey or have gone into separation, you would have never become spiritual the way you are right now. So a lot of you guys, you're finding yourself through your twin. But they're also finding themselves through you. And what they're also finding is like they're looking at their wrongs or finding their... um their insecurities, things that maybe they failed to address. And last but not least, we have secrets. So, you know, your person could be keeping quiet right now. They may be keeping to themselves. There could be secrets and things that they're they're not speaking about because this is something here that maybe they're so used to just keeping things to themselves, being very discreet. But it feels like this unsolved mystery secret is like something they want to talk about, right? They may want to communicate to you about their deepest, darkest secrets, things they haven't told other people. And it almost feels like it has to come out because it's causing them great distress and chaos within themselves, okay? So let's get some more clarity. Temperance came out. Sagittarius energy so something here could be happening with time right it feels like your person really wants to break through 
Temperance could be speaking about communication that wants to come through. Perhaps your person really wants to communicate, but now they're waiting for the right time to communicate. They want to be open and it's not going to be something that's going to happen overnight. They don't just get over their fear of being vulnerable um, overnight. That is something they're working through. And it feels like with this release card, they're releasing things that are holding them back from being open, being brutally honest. And it feels like the temperance is like timing, right? We also have the Queen of Wands in a verse and a Ten of Cups. For some of you guys, the Queen of Wands, Leo, Sag, Aries, this could be a fire sign in their life. This could be like a karmic partner. It did come around the cycle end. So for some of you guys, they're closing out a chapter with a passionate ex-lover, a past person, a Queen of Wands, a karmic partner. There's something about I want to be happy. And it's with time, temperance of finding out that maybe they're not happy with this person. So this is pertaining to those of you guys who got yourself in third-party situations. Your person threw you in a third-party situation. Maybe there's a karmic partner. I feel like your person with time is realizing that that karmic partner is not for them. Head of a heart could be literally making a decision to cut ties with that karmic partner. They're finding who they really are, right? And they're realizing that their life with this karmic partner is, you know, it's empty, it's, it's boring. It's not what they want. They're in great misery. They're in distress. They're disoriented. And they're realizing that that's not what I want. So there's the ending of a cycle, closing of a chapter. And I feel like it's with a karmic partner. And it really comes down to wanting happiness. I want the Ten of Cups. I want to live the good life. I want to be happy, right? Knight of Pentacles came out in the verse, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, King of Swords in the verse, and the Seven of Swords. So there's a very strong energy your person really wanting to communicate. However, Seven of Swords makes you feel like your person did the dirty, right? They did some really dirty, shysty things. They went behind your back. They lied. They hid things from you. There were secrets. There were things that didn't make sense. And they brought confusion, chaos to the situation. And so this Seven of Swords in the verse is now wanting to come clean. In order to communicate, there's an energy of, I got to come clean. I have to make a confession. Seven of Swords in verse is confessing what they did, what they've done, okay? Cheated, lied, stole from you. They were being deceptive. The Seven of Swords in verse is like, I'm ready to come out and reveal. And that could be part of being open. I'm ready to open up and tell you everything. And it feels like this confession could be helping them release the past, release the guilt that they're feeling, the shame that they're feeling. So it's going to require them to take lead, right? Leadership energy is like, I have to take lead. I have to be courageous. I have to be strong, have willpower and own up to what I did. Take accountability. That's a leader. Taking accountability, acknowledging your wrongs. That's a leader. And so that is something you're, they're working on. And it feels like it's not until they come in, they come correct, they come clean, they're being honest, that they're actually able to move forward with you. So there could be some delays here. For some of you guys, that's why things are still in quiet right now because your person is working on how to come in, how to come in and move towards you, how to make that offer. Knight of Pentacles is something grounded, right? It's stable. But it also feels like there's an energy of strategizing. How do I figure this out, right? When I come in, I want to do the right thing, Knight of Pentacles. I want to invest in this for the long term. I believe in it. But perhaps they're having to find a way forward first. Six of Wands in a verse. Seven of Wands. There's also the energy of a person being afraid to fail. Fire sign, Leo, Sag, Aries. I'm afraid to fail. I'm afraid to let you down because I've done it before. So it's like when I come in, when I move forward next time, I'm going to really fight for this. Seven of Wands, I'm going to stand my ground. I'm going to tell you what I want. I'm going to be confident. I'm going to come in and I'm going to take action. Wands is action. In the past, your person wasn't willing to take that action. They weren't confident. They were insecure. They didn't feel good enough. But there's a change. And now breaking away from that, anything that they failed to do in the past, now I'm going to come in, I'm going to do it all differently. I'm going to turn the table, seven of wands, and really fight for this because this is what I truly, truly want, okay? All right, so let's finish off with some oracle cards and see what else we can find out. Messages from my twins out there. Please do like, share, comment, subscribe if you enjoy these readings. I also have a main channel, Serendipity Tower, where I do love readings for all the zodiac signs. Okay, um, setting boundaries. 
So I think a lot of the changes that you guys are going through right now is because some of you, you've really decided, you know what, I'm going to set boundaries. I'm going to let them know how it is. This is what I'm willing to accept. This is what I'm not. For some of you guys, you felt taken advantage of to the point where you had to let them know. This setting boundaries could look like the seven of wands. It could look like pushing this person away and saying enough is enough. I'm not going to tolerate such behavior. So a lot of you guys, you had to stand up for yourself. And this setting boundaries was necessary to protect yourself, to push for what you ultimately wanted. You had to set the boundary high. All right, we also have grateful optimism, joyous view of the future. So now there's the energy of your person wanting to push forward, right? Being optimistic about the future, being grateful for the influence you've had in their lives. This is someone who wants to express gratitude to you, gratitude for the friendship, for the connection. You've made them who they are today. You've made them stronger. You've made them see past their own shortcomings. And I'm seeing optimism because it's like optimistic about what this can come, future, the future of the connection. So your person is optimistic, right? They're um, feeling really good about this. This is like, I can do this. I could accomplish this. So I feel like your person is seeing things differently. We have loss, lack. I'm getting a four cups energy. But I feel like the reason why this was a missed opportunity was not because um, they wanted to experience this loss. It's not because they wanted to lose you. It's because they were afraid. We have fear, victimization. For some of you guys, there were fear of not knowing what this was going to be. They had a fear of loving you, a fear of rejection, a fear that they perhaps would fail. Six of wands and a verb. So it's the energy of breaking away from fear because fear has resulted in lack, has resulted in loss in their life. It has resulted in them feeling empty inside. And now there's the energy. I want to break away from this. Healing the heart, power of self-love. For some of you guys, that is what you're working on right now. You're healing there's a lot of self-love, loving yourself first and foremost. That is allowing your heart to heal. So there's a there's a big change you're experiencing. The hurt, you know, you may have felt brokenhearted, but now there's a healing of the heart chakra. It also feels like there's a healing within your person's energy as well. This could be healing from past hurt, trauma, childhood, whatever that happened, okay? Past life. Healing of the heart. This is necessary in order to be able to love unconditionally, right? And we have deep emotions, unknown feelings, past life influences. See, this is confirming your person has these deep, deep underlying emotions that they haven't been able to express. And what's happening is that it's eating them alive. They have all these feelings they want to communicate to you. They want to be able to openly express their feelings because they feel it in the heart so deeply. And it's unknown to them. They've never felt these feelings before with anyone. Last but not least, we have the death and rebirth card. This is Scorpio energy. We did have the eclipse um, in Scorpio, so this makes sense. Big change. Scorpio is the sign of change, transformation, death, rebirth, letting go in order for something to be reborn, rebirth, revived, resurrected. So a lot of you guys are on this journey, you're in separation right now because something had to end. There had to be a death of this relationship, a death of a perspective, a mindset, a way of thinking, a behavior in order for this to be reborn and for it to be born and move in the right direction, right? Darkness to light, right? What was dark, your person was in a dark place and now there's energy of coming to light, bringing light back to the connection, bringing truth, bringing clarity, right? So that is what I'm seeing, my twins. I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. Like, share, comment, subscribe. If you want a twin tarot reading, all the details are in the description box. I hope you all have a beautiful week. Take care.